Alright, you know what it is, man. This one here, you know what I mean? Happy Father's Day again to everybody, man. Happy Father's Day, <laughs> you know? This one here is going to be about the California Emmy and the Texas Emmy. Sit back, enjoy the ride, because you know right here, I give you what you can't get nowhere else, so everybody else mad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright. Another prison story, you know what I mean? To, 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 to the federal government, this is unbelievable. <laughs> you know what I mean? To the federal government, this is unbelievable. So listen to the whole story, because you know, I, I like to ride. So let me ride and do what I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, if the federal government think this is unbelievable, YouTube is going to think this is unbelievable. That's why I'm going to break it down. And like I said, there's people that was dead. You know, thousands of people that support everything I say. No need for no capping. No need for no, you know, kicking it to get along. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I've always been my own man on man time. Big shout out to Al Raw. This is new joint that I'm wearing right now. So y'all make sure you go check out Al Raw at, uh, at Instagram and check out your joint. You know what I mean? Lavish Habits. You know what I mean? He personally pulled up on me today to give me a box of T-shirts with the, you know, shut the F up joints, you know, for the rat bastards that's out there. So if you want your T-shirts for the shut the F up joint, make sure you call the number, you know what I mean, that's going to flash on the screen. That's 917-680-9091 for the shut the F up joint for the rat bastards and flip-flop wearing dudes out there. I mean, I, I, I hate them with a passion. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I can't get mad because, you know, they have no life and no content, <laughs> you know? So I'm going to give you my content, and you tell me where you want to go. And like I said, I tell everybody fact check. Father's Day, I put up my paperwork because I chose to. You know what I mean? Because, you know, just, just, just to set the record straight, because it's been a while and I'm at 54,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Relax, y'all. Thank you for your support. You know what I mean? You know, you got people on YouTube that see your numbers rising and they don't have no content, so they try and create friction and stories and fabrication. But, you know, none of that moved me. I'm not a deal with this YouTube now. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for the comments. Now, I'm in Lewisburg, right? I'm in Lewisburg, 1995. I allegedly stabbed two police and wound up in ADX. Now, I get to ADX, like I said, you know, I'm going to give you a quick little run through about everything for, you know, the new subscribers that came. I run through uh, uh, Oklahoma, you know, they, 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 they flew me over there to Colorado, um, what was it, Florence, is the name of the place. You know what I mean? Now, they fly me over there to Colorado, and I get to Colorado, I'm on a plane, and, you know, they're bringing people on, and they bring the world-famous, big shout-out to Doc Shakur. Big shout-out to Doc Shakur. Doc Shakur came on the plane, and they put him right next to me. How ironic is that? So he gave me the jewels on how to survive in there. And the first thing Dr. Shakur told me, and I thank you for that, big brother, gunshots. You know I love busting my gunshots. The rats hate it. You know what I mean? Because nine times out of ten, the gunshots is to the rat bastards out there. And fake flip-flop wearing in public can't defend yourself, brothers. Nothing wrong with flip-flops, but not in public. You know what I mean? Now, here we go. Doc, let me know. Don't take their medication. You a wild young dude. We all heard about you from in here, so we knew you was coming. They needed to make space to bring you in here. They brought me, meaning Dr. Core, there 
because they was trying to fill up bed space. But now, due to the crack law riot that you allegedly, you know, started in Lewisburg and, you know, other brothers participated in other joints, they're bringing you here. They're going to try and give you medication. They're going to try and convince you that you're not right mentally. I know I'm not right mentally because I'm not a regular dude. You know what I mean? A regular dude would have told on his dead brother to get out of prison. A regular dude would have told on his comrades to get out of prison. A regular dude would have told on his mother to get out of prison. You know? But we all know that you on man time. Salute to the big brother Al Raw again. You know? So... They're going to try and recondition your mind, you know, to get on regular dude's time. So don't take their medication because they got all kinds of psychological medication in there. That's what, you know, Dr. Shakur told me. He's out here. He can verify for what he's saying. Good brother. I, I ran into him in other spots after I worked my way out of there by manipulating the system. Because that's what we do as a kingpin, as a criminal. And I was a criminal. I was a kingpin. But now I'm trying to reach out to the youth. To show you how vicious this is. You know. My first day in Lewisburg. I get off the bus with another Mexican brother. And I didn't know where he was from. I didn't know nothing about him. Didn't know about nothing about the gangs. Didn't know nothing about none of that. When I get there. He gets stabbed in the neck. Right in front of me. We on the red top. Big shout out to Duwap. Big shout out to Duwap. Make sure y'all go check out that Do What documentary. I think it was excellent, and I'm giving the editor his world-famous props, you know, for the way he did that Do What in L.A. documentary and all the documentaries I've seen over there. I forgot the name of the channel, so forgive me. But hit me up, you know, my, my number's on the screen, you know, for the editor. I definitely would like to give you your flowers because that's how I am. I'm not going to disrespect you and put you up against my man DP201, you know what I mean, or Bump, or Turtle Gang, or Roby. I'm not going to put you up against my editors and try and discredit you, you know, because you did an excellent job. And you're doing an excellent job. You know what I mean? You earned my gunshots. You know what I mean? But anyway... Dude gets stabbed in the neck my first day there, you know. I don't know what's going on. So the homies telling me that California and Texas can't be in the same prison because they got what they call a on-site beef. Now you fake trolls and flip-flop wearing in public dudes. Y'all don't like this. Y'all don't like my cockiness. But do I give a crap what you think about my cockiness? Continue to make lies. Continue to... To spread false rumor and propaganda. Because that's what you were created to do. God created the devil to test the righteous men. You know, like me and my comrades. You know, we don't need that move. I don't need to say no names. I don't need to get into none of that. But anyway, so they explained to me that California and uh, Texas is having a beef. You know, with the M.A. Uh, fraction because it started in California and they felt the way about, you know, it spread into, you know, Texas. But I had the pleasure when I got to ADX to meet, you know, little Herbie. Y'all from Texas know little Herbie. Him and his family got, you know, indicted on an alleged, you know, continue to run the enterprise from within the federal prison at Leavenworth. So, you know, I talk facts. You know what I mean? You can't ask a rat that was in a cheese factory with a hundred men, you know what I mean, about the facts of the penitentiary with a man that was in the trenches with 2,000 men. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why the rat is mad. You know what I mean? Just so you understand. The rat is going to be mad. That's what they do. So now, I get the pleasure of meeting Lil Herbie. We go out in the yard and, you know what I mean, everybody filling me in on this, you know, California M.A. and Texas M.A. beef. You know, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know about gangbangers because I wasn't into that. On the street, I was doing my thing. They had the Crips of town. California dude came up town, was doing his thing, laid his thing down, and, you know, started the Crips in Harlem. And, you know what I mean? But that was outside of my league because I stay in my lane. That's why I'm the king. Because I know I'm to stay in my lane. I don't need to disrespect nobody to get views. I don't need to disrespect nobody to make my name big. Let me give you all I, I, I like to ride. You know, I like to ride. You know, what I, what, 
what I don't respect, right? What I don't respect, let me say this. What I don't respect is a brother that got to throw dirt on another man to try and raise his character by trying to throw dirt and salt on another man. That's like a dude, because like I said, I'm riding. You know what I mean? So I'm going to bend two corners. You know, just sit back and let me ride. If you don't like to ride, you're welcome to go somewhere else. No disrespect. Now, you know, I don't respect a brother that's trying to get with a girl and he want to tell that girl, oh, this one is fake and this one is that. Dude acting like he all that. He acting like he get money. He really the worker. He really the this. He really the that. That's what fake suckers and rats do. This the first sign of a rat mentality. Someone that want to speak negative about somebody else to big themselves up. And yeah, I bust my gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now, a dude that's going to tell a girl, oh, he ain't really getting no money. He driving somebody else's car. He this and he that. You know what I mean? Dude, if your game is smooth, kick your content. When you kick your content, you know what I mean? People will hear it and they'll know what's real and what's not real. I bring men on here. While I'm doing my shows, I'm doing this right now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. And I mean, I'm up. I'm, I'm, because it's the time that I get up and do my thing, get my prayer in. Because it's the time when, you know, Allah's, uh, you know, angels are there and they hear you and you can speak directly to them, you know, for what it is that, you know, you're trying to overcome. You know what I mean? And, of course, I'm trying to come overcome, you know what I mean? Life struggles. But the haters is not even in, you know, my prayers. You know, I pray for them, you know what I mean? But they're not a concern. So a person that trying to slander my name, I speak facts. So if a man want to sit here and sit down with a female, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or sit on YouTube and go back and forth and try and add up how much money somebody had 30 years ago that don't have that now. I never said I had that, and I'm still saying I ain't got that. Defense raped me. That's why I'm telling the youngins, don't get in crime, because all the riches and wealth you got is going to go to your lawyer. The defense is going to take whatever the lawyer can't pinch out of you before the feds hit you with what they call, I think it's the 851 forfeiture law. So you wind up with nothing. You know, I was blessed with, you know, Putting a couple of trinkets here, a couple of trinkets there, a couple of cars here. I've been driving one of them over the weekend. Then, you know, we got away with, you know. But we don't work with the federal government. And there's two things that you learn when you go to prison. This is for these young brothers that I'm trying to give these jewels to. When you go to prison, you don't argue with a he cipher, monkey cipher. I'm going to say that again. You don't argue with a he cipher, monkey cipher because you're not going to win. You arguing with, you know, a he cipher, monkey cipher that wants to be something else. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So how could you argue with somebody that their mind frame is different than yours? Their lifestyle is different than yours. No disrespect to their lifestyle, but, you know, that's you. You do what you want. But I, I'm not going to argue with you. And that's the first rules for you youngins watching this because I'm giving jewels to the youth. You don't argue with the he cipher, monkey cipher. And you don't argue or mix with rat bastards. Because they're nothing other than a snake. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why I give a gunshot every time I say rat bastard or snake. Because that's what they deserve. You will go against your comrades. And then you come out and you try and be who you were. You lost all your stripes when you went against your comrades. Anything you say is already in question. Because your manhood, your honor, your principal code, your conduct is in question. You know? So don't quite question a man of my caliber. It just, it just don't work, dog. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, like I said, I know how this YouTube thing goes, so I know majority of people that watch this is, you know, civilians. You know? Big shout out to the civilians.
That's why that's what my channel is about. Now let me uh, let me ride back to ADX. So I'm with Lil Herbie and you know, everybody introduced me to him, you know, he a big fish, I'm a big fish, so you know they figured we need to meet each other. I'm a Moreno means black. This also means black. Just like this means white. You know, I give the jewels. You're not gonna get these jewels, you know what I mean, in a rat camp. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna do something about Casanova make later on, you know. About everything going on with Casanova. Because, you know, in order to denounce a gang, you have to be debriefed. That take months and years. Because they want to know everything about the gang from you. And if they figured you gave them new information they didn't know, then they allow you to say you step aside from the gang. Casanova just, you know, got in the system. He's not even in the federal system yet. He's still waiting to be sentenced. So therefore, he wasn't the brief, you know, whether he denounced, you know, his gang said or not. Let's get that straight, you know. So the fake YouTubers that's trying to down this brother, stop it. Stop it. There's no way, I'm telling you from experience, because I'm calling names of men, you know, that created this gang banging, as y'all call it, you know. So stop that. It takes time to be debriefed and then they got to accept what you say and put it through the paperwork and all the different alphabet agencies and come up with what they come up with. I'm giving you all jewels you can't get nowhere else. But you're going to get rat bastards that's going to try and discourage you and take you away from the moral and principles of how the code is really ran because they violated the code and they're ashamed of themselves, so they try and defecate on good men of honor, on my comrades. But I'm not mad at you, because that's what a rat bastard do. That's what a snake do. Remember that. Now, so I'm over there with Herbie. They breaking it down to me. They telling me, he telling me about his family and how they even brought his mother in for sending, you know, other, other people that was allegedly in his gang, you know what I mean, money orders and said that that was for this, that was for that. Because that's how the feds play for you youngins, so you know to pay attention. Big shout out to the California Emmy and big shout out to the Texas Emmy. Big shout out to Champ that I'm getting ready to speak on. And definitely also a big shout out, you know, Hello, Herbie. You see how, yeah, how up, yo. you see how official my channel is and my content it is? That's what's spooking them. They don't have content. When they have no content, they make up fabrication. But anyway, now let me get to Champ. Then I meet Champ. Champ is an older man when I meet him. Because this is back in 95. He had to be in his 60s then. Late 50s, definitely was in his 60s. You know what I mean? But I meet Champ, who started, you know what I mean, one of the founders, you know, of the California M.A. Y'all saw that movie, American Me, you know what I mean? Champ told me out of his mouth, it, 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 it despised them, you know, when Hollywood depicted that he cipher monkey cipher scene with the dude, you know, being raped in the kitchen with rice or something crazy. That hurt him to his heart. He confided that in me. Because that's one thing they're against is he cipher, monkey cipher. Let's get that straight. Y'all ain't gonna get this nowhere else. That's why you got the fake rats and trolls trying to discredit my word because they don't want me to really get to the youth to let them know how vicious this is on the inside. You know? So now I meet Champ. Champ, cool little older dude, bald head, you know what I mean? It looked like a light-skinned, you know, black brother, if you didn't know no better, you know? But Champ, you know, he moved to ADX. We're in ADX Supermax right now, you know what I mean? So this is where I went. I didn't go to a cheese factory. So I'm sorry for you rat bastards that's mad that I didn't go to a rat bastard cheese factory with you because I refuse to be a rat bastard, I refuse to eat cheese, and I refuse to play those games. I would die before I diminish my character, period. When you rolled over and let the government stick all kinds of broomsticks in you and everything else, anything they can stink of to, you know what I mean? Like I said, I said it right, anything they can stink of, you know what I mean? Anything they can stink of to stick up in your rectum.
to, you know, to turn you into, you know, the woman you really want to be, <laughs> you know? Now, I'm there with these two brothers, and, you know, we kicking it every day, and I'm learning. Because, like I said, I know how to listen when I get amongst my elders and people from other geographical location and had different geographical outlooks on life, like the gangbanging mentality that I wasn't privy of on the street because I was in my lane doing me. You understand? Now, let me ride. Now, for you fake dudes that want to sit here and add up my money, I feel honored that you taking the time to think about little black old me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, I've never in my life added or estimated how much another man has. Females do that before they make a move on your pockets. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what these internet dudes do. They, they watch your pockets, you know what I mean? So that they can figure out a way to get some money out your pockets. And the way YouTube work is, if you use their name, Unique Maker Audio, you're the man. Gunshots to the fake rat, troll, flip-flop wearing in public, scumbags. You know what I mean? I don't need to say no names. You know, you know what it is. Now, let me finish with my, my, my story. Like I said, I ride, so that's why I, I don't get to the point like y'all want to get to it. So if you don't want it, er, there's other channels. But my people that come here, they like me to ride. Because I'm the king of this channel. Just like the rat bastards is kings of their channels. So if you want to hear rat bastard conversations, go to a rat bastard channel and it's in a rat bastard fabrication and get Brainwashed with the rat bastard bullcrap. Now, so here we go. So I'm in here with these two brothers, and I'm in ADX. I'm in Supermax. So picture this. I want y'all to understand what you know what I seen. I'm taking you into the mind right now of a kingpin being put where they put the real men of honor. Not the rat bastards with a hundred other rat bastards that don't told on their mothers. So you understand. So now, I'm in this joint and, you know, we kicking it. Then they call lockdown. We in ADX. There's nothing going on. We in the yard. Me, Champ, Herbie, you know, Applebee. You know, we all we, we all just kicking it. You understand what I'm saying? We all just kicking it. Delroy Uzi. You, you know what I mean? Come on. Ray Luke Lassiter. You know, we all just kicking it in the yard. You know what I mean? And yes, Larry Hoover was there. Y'all Fascinated with Larry Hoover because you haven't heard him speak. He said, don't be surprised if I get a phone conversation from Larry Hoover let y'all hear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, I don't need to throw names. See, people use other people's names to get views. I use my names and my personal context to get views, and that's what they mad at because they was protected by the federal government, and I was thrown amongst the wolves by the federal government, and I survived because that's what gangsters do. Rat bastards get fake protected by the government, by them keeping them contained in little small pockets within the prison and away from the men. But anyway, so we in the yard, they yo locked down. So I look around, I'm asking the homies, yo, what is the lockdown about? What's the lockdown about? And they like, yo, um, the, 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 the California Emmy and Texas Emmy, they, they, they went on it, went at it at Leavenworth. I'm in Leavenworth. What does Leavenworth got to do with us in Colorado? In Supermax. It's 18 cells on the tiers for you people that don't know. And then you put 14 people on each tier. And they leave four cells open in case of an emergency. If you're not an official gangster, you don't know that. It's 18 cells on the tier. They leave four open. They got 400 beds total. You understand? So now, I'm wondering, what does the 14 of us on this tier and the other tiers within the institution have to do with what happened in Leavenworth with the California MA and the Texas MA? Blew my mind. The homie said, that's how the feds work. I came from Lewisburg. I'm riding again. Big shout out, number love to my people. 
I come from Lewisburg where brothers got killed, murdered, cold-blooded murdered, stabbed in the neck, stabbed in the face. And I'm even going to tell you all the story. If y'all want to hear it, put it in the comments because my joints are so real. I backed off the stories because I know it might be a little graphic and hard for y'all to understand. You know, just like you got people out to that, you know, didn't understand the... The, 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 the Michael Jackson statement that I made on YouTube. I speak facts. Back in the day, er, I'm riding. Back in the day, it was the cool thing to do. To free base. Yes, to put the pipe to your mouth and suck on the pipe in public. But the cool thing to do to show you had money you could afford to pay $100 a gram. Just like now today, sipping lean in the club. Or smoking that, you know, that law in the club is the cool thing to do. We're talking about in the 70s. And here we go, we got people that was born in the 80s and 90s, some even in the 70s, that wasn't even old enough to brush their own teeth trying to tell me what I saw another man put in his mouth. To me, that's comical. You know what I mean? I just put the facts out there, y'all go research it and come back. You know what I mean? And you look how Michael Jackson died and you see how that went out. Big shout out to Michael Jackson. I love him. He's one of my favorite artists. And I'm, I'm even going to give you one. My man, Chinaman. You know what I mean? Barry Vessel. You know? Chinaman is a big Michael Jackson fan. When, China, when, when Michael Jackson came to Madison Square Garden, we all big blood clot gun tort in Jamaica. You know? But here goes Michael Jackson at Madison Square Garden. And here comes Chinaman. Yo, I uh, be to go see the king, I uh. <laughs> you know, the king. Who y'all who call the king? Him said Michael Jackson, and we said Mike. You know, we just looked at him as an entertainer. We didn't go to concerts and all that American stuff. But you know, big shout out to Chinese man the Gully Posse. <laughs> and before I go any further, I got to give a big shout out to my mentor. My mentor. Let me look at the camera when I say this so y'all understand. You know what I mean? To my mentor, Danny Bones. Danny Bones, official gangster. We know y'all look upon this because y'all watch your son rise. You know what I'm saying? And I, and yeah, I'm his son. I, I'm Danny Bones' son. I used to go to Danny Bones' my old son, Washington Avenue, down there around the corner from Empire Skating Ring. I used to go to Empire Skate with my big 357 Magnum. A lot of y'all don't even know what Empire Skating Ring is. That's how long I've been out there. I just look good. I, I, I look young. I look handsome. You know what I mean? And I'm very intelligent. And I'm very articulate. You know? I started, I'm getting ready to start. My workout video in my backyard where I put all the equipment that they had in prison so you fake trolls and rat bastards and flip-flop wearing in public dudes can say, oh, he's so institutionalized. Yes, I'm institutionalized to keep my body right because that's what made me to the man that I am today. But China might want to go see Michael Jackson. So you understand, I love Michael. would never say nothing bad about him, but I speak the facts about everybody like... You know, I welcome anybody with paperwork that I showed on Father's Day to speak about me. But we don't do the rumors. Now, let's go back to, you know, ADX Supermax. So we at ADX and they lock us down for, you know, an incident that happened at Leavenworth. You know, I think it might even have been a murder. But I don't even remember because I try to, you know, forget that because I don't like to see two race, the same race going at each other. Just like I don't like to see our people going to each other. That's why you've never heard me mention anyone's name negative and I'll never stoop to that level. I don't need to mention another man's name because I'm the shit. I'm that nigga. I'm the king. That's why I wear this. One of the homies got this for me. Hey, yeah, he trolls to say, yeah, it's fake, it's this, it's that. Yeah. Feel free. But either way, I'm still the king at the end of the day. But we know it's a hundred. You know? So now, we up in the joint. They lock us down for the Leavenworth joint. And we stay locked down for two weeks. That mean, we get our little one-hour wreck every day. And they use that to not let us go to wreck for two weeks. So now they let us out. 
you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a couple of things to you so you understand how this. I feel like Rogers. It might be an hour, it might be forty minutes. I don't know how I feel. You know, it's my channel. I do what I want to do. Wherever my head is at. So after two weeks, we go out, and I couldn't read or write. Yeah, he called me a dumb nigga. You know what I mean? I couldn't read or write. Just like when I went to Oklahoma, they went to take my shackles off, and and, and the cracker tapped me on my ankle after he was done with one cuff. I picked it up, and you know what he said to me? That a boy. <laughs> you know how. You tap a cow or a horse on his hoof and he pick it up and you pat him and you say that a boy to let him know he did good so he know to do that next time. This is what a European did to me in Oklahoma when they were taking the shackles off me. He tapped me on my ankle and instinctively I went up on my tippy toes and he said, Dad a boy. <laughs> I kicked him dead. We ain't gonna get that. But anyway, so let's ride back to you know, ADX, you know, I want to stay to the point a little bit because I know a lot of y'all attention span ain't long except for my loyal subscribers that know how I ride. So now we up in the joint and we come out after two weeks and I go out with a stack of mail like this. You know, I just got locked up, so I'm getting mad mail. As the years went on, the mail went down, the mail went down, the mail went down, the mail went down, the mail went down to I could hold it in two fingers to how many people abandoned me after two decades. So if you youngest want to go to prison and think your people are going to be there, even the only person that I know that always stood with me is my mother. Your mother is going to be there. Your mother tried to be... You know, a father to you. Now, let me say this too, because I'm right. I put up a happy Father Day post, and I said to all the fathers and mothers that's being fathers, and could you believe we had people saying, don't give the females props on Mother's Day, but yet the females is taking care of the children for the fathers that's not there. So why shouldn't they get their props on Mother's Day? Some try to say because, you know, it's a man's day. No, it's not a man's day. It's a father's day. It's a person who is furthering the education of the youth. And if a female is doing that, then she's doing the duties of a father. She can never be a father, but she can give them the best advice and information and guidance they need to grow up to be the man that they are by the men that was in her family, in her surroundings, in her circle to push that child further towards manhood until a law willing, they bring her man in their life. Now, how could you get mad because I said, happy Father's Day to the fathers and the mothers that's being fathers? Y'all put in the comments about that. That's the craziest thing I ever heard. I've been saying that saying since I've been in prison posting on my Facebook and Instagram by, you know, sending it out in, in, in regular snail mail and somebody copying, you know, my letter with my screwed up handwriting and putting it up on my page. You know what I mean? And I never had any issues with it. And here it is about five, seven years later, a decade, yeah, well, not a decade, about eight years later, because I got, man, it might have been more. I got on, on Instagram in 2010 from in the prison and didn't get out to 2023. So that's 13 years. Now we had 2000, what, 12, 24, 23, whatever the hell it's. I don't even know what all this crap going on because this whole world is going to an end. You know what I mean? When, you know, a rat could sit up there and try to talk crap about a man and anybody listen to him. Once you rat, you lose all credibility. Once you sit down with the government force, you lose all credibility. You have no reason to speak. Shouldn't be on YouTube, shouldn't be saying anything, you know what I mean? And I don't even know if the kids should even listen to you. But you show why the kids shouldn't listen to you, because you don't have your chi. That's your inner peace in order. Like men of honor, such as me, such as gangster loot such as Homicide Luke, such as Anton White, such as Sea Dog from California, such as Kaz from California, such as Flex from Best Friends. You understand? Such as Little Dirk from Chicago. You know, Uncle, you know, Shorty Dope. And his father, Big Dope. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, get, get your chi in order, brother. Get your chi in order. Once your chi, chi get in order, your channel will grow and your life will grow. 
And if you want to spend time adding up how much a washed up, yeah, I'm saying it, a washed up kingpin made in 1990 and 88 to 93 because they had a five, seven year run. You know what I mean? Feel free to waste your time doing that. But don't sit here and say that you're trying to help the youth because that's not helping anybody. But, you know, you think it's helping your ego and your character. But anyway, so now let's go back to ADX. So now we're in ADX and we come out after two weeks. I take out this big stack of letters. Because it's about 96. I take out the 90. How many of y'all was born in 96? If you wasn't born in 96, don't put a comment unless you're asking a respectful question. But don't try and justify what I'm saying when you was born in 96 or after 96. You know what I mean? Or even in the 80s when you were still a child. What I'm telling you about grown folks' business in ADX Supermax. I was one of the first convicts in ADX when it opened. It opened like February 95 is when they officially labeled open, but they didn't start bringing us in until the end of the year. You know what I mean? The beginning of the 1996. But anyway, so I go out there with my letters. And I'm even going to give you this because I told you all this is something else. I'm going to tell this fast and get to my little joint. So you understand this is how I make all your roll. All this is in the head. Nothing is made up. Nothing is fabricated. So I don't have to stop to think about nothing like these rat bastards pause every time. And they think and they try to figure out a way to degrade their character. I'm going to let you know what it is. I go out to the joint with a stack of letters. Go see my man Bernard going. Big G, G, uh, Big D, G, D out of Chicago. If y'all know where he at. Y'all tell Big D to call me, Bernard Goins. You know what I mean? I think it was even related to Donald Goins, one of my famous writers, you know? Now, Big B grid out there, and I ain't seen him in a minute, so I come out there and I say, damn, I miss you, bitch-ass nigga, and I'm in my New York swag. I'm rocking just like this, and I'm smiling, and my man went like this. I didn't know why. As a man, because he respect my gangster, he read the letters, but it wasn't with the same enthusiasm that, that he normally do. And I noticed that, but you know, you calculate things because bad boys move in silence. So right before it ended, he pulled me up and he said, yo, you need, where I come from, we don't call a dude the B word under any circumstances. I said, man, that's just a term of redemption, but nigga feeling good. I miss you. It like down for two weeks. I'm happy to see you. He said, yo, but we don't do that. And as a man, I said, no problem. I respect that because it wasn't meant to disrespect them. Yeah, I'm hiding my eyes because it's a lot. You see how black my pupils is? I'm letting you see one of them. That's from the hell that I've been through. From not being a rat bastard. Y'all couldn't understand the pain. The torture that I've seen with these eyes. See how black my pupils is? Man, youngins, don't get involved. I don't want your pupils to turn black, man. You know, I'm talking to people in the prison, and you know what I mean? Everybody's pupils is black that's in my circle. So I know they've been through the struggle with me. But anyway, so he, he, he clarified that to me. And that's when I realized that different geographical locations have different sayings and slangs, and some take it disrespectful and some don't. But if someone takes something you say is a disrespect, you apologize and you move past it. You don't make reasons, justifications, or modify. Modify means to, 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 to justify a wrong to make it right. That's a psychological term. You know what I mean? For y'all who don't understand. I had to take psychological training for 3,005 hours to find out why I was twisted and I wouldn't tell on my own brother for my own freedom. But then you got these rat bastards and these trolls trying to justify why I stood strong. I stood strong because it was the right and only thing to do by the choices that I made to run the streets as a criminal. And that's why I got out that criminal mentality, and that's why, like I do in all my videos, I tell the youngins, don't get involved in it. It's not worth it. At all, it's not worth it. You know? So now, we go back in and we got that straight. So the next day we come out, everything good, and while we in the yard, we're doing our push-ups, pull-ups, just like my little pull-up bar that I got in my video I'm going to edit later on in the day, you know, with me working out with my nephew, beat time, stay fly. <laughs> you know what I mean? And... You know, we out there working out. I'm getting my pull-ups in, doing a little 20 in a set, doing 20 sets for the day. 
Y'all add that up because y'all like to do the math to add up how much money a dude made or whatever. So you know, I add up how much money I got up on a pull-up ball and y'all put it in the comments. So I'm doing 20 pull-ups, you know, uh, uh, 20 sets, 20 dips, 20 sets, 20 uh, 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 push-ups, you know, 50 in a clip. And those of y'all rat bastards looking for content that want to challenge that, I'm telling you now, you know what I mean? Call my bluff. And I put up a picture of how big I got. My girl had to tell me, hold up, dude, you're getting too big, man. Well, you know, you, you went in a buck 40, and now you're looking like 220, 230 solid, and I, I didn't sign up for a man like that. So I had to slow down my workout to give my woman what she wanted, but continue my health regime to make sure I make it out healthy and strong. To come out here and bless y'all on this YouTube with this good knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to take it to the next level so that... You know what I mean? You can understand your culture and freedom to free your mind. You know what I mean? So you can have the power to refine yourself, to deal with equality, show forth that you God, to show forth that you uh, uh, build and destroy. You know what I mean? Meaning now you're capable of being or born in, which means to come into existence. To show that your cipher is complete. Got to make sure your cipher is complete, which consists of the sun, moons, and stars. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to confuse you, so I just wanted to drop that to let you know. But anyway, so we go back out there the next day. I'm working. I'm in the middle of my workout, and this big alarm goes off, a sound I never heard. And we, remind you, we're underground now. And above us, they got, they got this fence above our heads, and you look up, and the sky is way up ahead. You know what I mean? And they call lock that. You know, so we ask the police, police cool with us because they already know what time it is. They know we have of a different cloth than them. So they said, nah, they tried to open up in, in, uh, across the street at Colorado in the USP. I'm in the Supermax in Colorado in the same complex. They said as soon as they opened up, dude wound up getting stabbed. You know, so they locked it back down. So we have to lock y'all down. We let them know we ain't got no problems. You know what I mean? And they're like, nah, we got to lock it down. You know, now let me speed this up. I've been on here long enough. I know your attention span ain't really there for you newcomers that's not really, you know what I mean? They're just coming to look. I know my loyal people understand this and like my riding. I'm riding. <laughs> so now we go back in the cell. So we go back in the cell. And while we're in the cell, we stay locked down for 30 days behind something that happened across the street in a whole nother prison until they figured out what they were going to do. So what they came up with, you know, and this is the part that you, you, you know, that, that you haters and rat bastards is not going to understand. They came up with a plan and they got the two main characters that was in ADX with me, my comrades. Because when I got out to, you know, Lump Park and Atwater, you know what I mean? Uh, Champ. You know, Champ's people looked out for me. Big shout out to the Serenos. You know, they wound up giving me one of their cells where out there, every group, gang, geographical location, we have cells. And if somebody go to the hole, nobody gets moved in that cell until somebody come off the bus or come out the hole that's off that group, you know, or gang to get that cell. But the Serenos gave me a Sereno cell right in front of Spanish TV. They looked out so much, they even allowed me, and it's hard for a lot of y'all to believe, but this is how it show you the type of power my name carried, you know. They gave me permission that at a certain time after they go to sleep, they would put the TV on CNN because I love the news. They put the TV on CNN, and once the TV's on CNN, now I know I have their authority to change the channel with my remote from my cell. But before that, I would never touch the TV, because that's a death sentence. No matter who you are. Ain't no black person changing the old Sereno TV without getting murdered, period. So you go to jail thinking it's sweet, I watch whatever TV, nobody can tell me. No, the Serenos controlled what I watched. And when I watched it on their TV, and yes, it was a government TV, but the government gave it to them, and it was their TV. 
And usually about 12, 12 30, you know, they'll go to sleep because they watch the, the nighttime sitcoms on the Telemundo, and then they'll put it on CNN, and everybody around the TV knew when the channel changed that was unique up there during his time because he a man, you know what I mean? And he done been through the trenches and been with the big homie, and he's official. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me say it again. He's official. <laughs> okay? So now, you know, that's the weight that champ called, you know, so you understand. Of course, we had a few Serenos that was like, yo, how you got the Moreno changing the channel, da, da, da. And the powers that be in their organizations checked them. I didn't need to speak and say nothing and justify and wiggle. I felt bad. And they came back and told me, y'all, a couple of little homies said something, but da, 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 I checked it, so, you know, everything good, do you. And that's how I knew what was going on. You know, because everybody keep their business amongst the car. But he let me know that in case I heard anything else. Because we all on man time. Check out my man, Al Rob. He goes shirt again, man. You know, lavish habits. You know, like I said, I represent the brothers. You know, they stay on man time. The rat bastards get mad because, you know, I bust my gun at them. I ain't going to say your name. I'm not going to disrespect you. But I'm going to disrespect your lifestyle of being a rat bastard. That's just me. Now, so we're in ADX, and this is the part you're not going to believe. I, I like the ride, so just bear with me, because I've already been on here 45 minutes. Now, we're in ADX, and the administration got a call from Washington, D.C. They said to bring Herbie and Champ together in the visiting hall in ADX, which is Glass Booth. Your lawyer on one side or your family on one side. It's a glass in the middle at the county jail and you on the other side. That's how I went on my visits. And I had my visits, plenty of visits, even in 88, because I got a lot of love for my people. I want to thank all my people for holding me down. All right, so now, they called those two gods out there of their gangs, you know? They called them out there and they had them sit down to try and rectify the problem that was having. I'm not going to get into the, you know, the, the, the issue of the problem they was having, you know. But I'm in contact with a few good, you know, California M.A. and, you know, Texas M.A. and Sereno. So I'm going to get one of them on to explain that more. Because that's how real I am. Don't do no capping. As the fake rats would try and tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, they sitting there, and they brought the two of them in the visiting hall. You understand? Their lawyers was allowed to be there. Because, you know, these are men. We don't talk to the government without our lawyers present. I never talk to my government. I fired my lawyers for even mentioning the government's name to me. That's how much I despise a rat bastard, and that's what I considered a government official as when I was in the criminal lifestyle. Now, I know they're just doing their job, because I'm out here and it's a different me, and you know what I mean? This is where we at. So don't get involved so you don't have to sit down with these people and compromise your morals and principles and then wind up trying to go on YouTube and discredit a good man, you know? But they lawyers is there, they there, and they're talking to each other privately with their lawyers outside the room. And the lawyers had it so they couldn't record the calls, you know? So nobody know what was said amongst them, you know? And this is how I'm going to close this out. This is so deep that you fake rat bastards and trolls not going to understand this. Because even your leader, <laughs> the government that made you flip, <laughs> you know, didn't understand it. Now, after they talked for about 30 to 45 minutes an hour, they both stood up and they told the administration, you could open your jail now. They both stood up and told the administration, you can open your jail now. Let them know, we know it's your jail, but we run this shit. That's gangster. You know what I mean? That's gangster. And the rat bastard could never understand this. 
Civilians could never understand this, but look up everything I'm saying, because no cap it. You know what I mean? Rats say anything. You know, that's why they rat it. All a piece of cheese. You know what I mean? And, you know, cheese is our information, you know? So, he said, you're going to open your jail up now. So the administration said, okay, but you need to make a phone call or anything. We have your lawyers present. You need to send a letter to the uh, other jails. What do you need to do? They both looked at him and said, no, it's okay. You could open your jails now. And they said, no, but you, we, we know you need to get in communication with somebody. Tell them that. And they said, look, this is the greatest mystery of the Federal Bureau of Prison I just told you. My cash app was created in 2020. That's my cash app up there. Make sure you put the money on the cash app that say 2020, not the one that say 2023. A dollar sign unique make a haul because they duplicated my account because you got rats and trolls that's trying to eat off of my food. But all they can digest is the cheese. Where we as men eat cheese too much, we get constipated. And that's why the rat bastards is full of shit because they constipated. <laughs> from eating too much damn cheese, <laughs> you know? But he told him, yo, you can open your jail up now. So they, administration, Washington, D.C., all the way in Colorado, that's how big this is, because it was our on-site beef in the Federal Bureau of Prison with the California M.A. and the Texas M.A. And Herbie and Champ both sat there. They lawyers, they wouldn't allow their lawyers in the room when they talked. That's how gangster this is. They told, the government tried to say, the lawyers got to be, pre no. So we don't need our lawyers. We don't want our lawyers. If our lawyers come in this room, no conversation, you can take us back to our cages. So they all agreed. Them two talked as men one-on-one -on -one and nobody know what was said in there. But the brothers that they came back and shared that with, that they confided with, that they knew would never break the code. But I respect the code so much that I'm not even going to reveal what was said in that room. And I could do that and get a million views on YouTube. I'm not after a million views. I respect the code. Remember that. I respect the code. And we don't shit on another man to make ourselves feel big. That's a female. That's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I that do that. Men don't do that. You know that. You know, if a dude try to get with a girl, like I said earlier, and he trying to tell the girl that the dude is a punk, the dude is a this, the dude is a that, you already know he's full of crap and he's the punk. You know, because when you got one finger pointed at you, you got three more pointed at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So majority rule. But anyway, these brothers told him you can open your jail up. So they asking them a million questions. Da, 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 da. Why? How could you say that? What's going to happen? We don't want another murder. We don't want this. We don't want that. And he calmly said, you could open your jail. Both Champ and Herbie. You know what I mean? They opened up Colorado USP first. When they opened up the doors to Colorado USP, right? Both... California and Texas MA that they had separated in their cages in between the New York, the DC, the Chicago, the dirty south, the, you know what I mean, the California car. Once those brothers came out, when they gave the world to show how powerful these MAs are and how bad boys move in silence, when they let these brothers out, both California and Texas MA walked up to each other and embraced each other. With 24 hours before, if they would have did that, if they would have did it an hour before that conversation, it would have been nothing but blood spread. The administration was baffled. Just like the rat bastards is baffled at my conduct. Because they didn't honor the code. The administration, how did they do that? The lawyers wasn't in the room. We didn't allow your phone call, you know? You didn't send a letter. But yet you swatched the beef with your words standing here, with you here, and nobody could hear the words but you two. They just looked at him and smirked. <laughs> they just looked at him and smirked and said, man, open your jail back up, man. You know? They opened the jail, California, Texas, the beef was over. That easy and that quick. That's the power of a God. Mental telepathy, maybe. 
it's up to you to try and debate that and put that in the comments. You know? So now, you know, we go back. So now we up in uh in the cells and they call us for wreck the next day. And the police is pulling us up, you know, they trying to hold conversation to test the temperature and you know, the brothers is good, you know. But nobody revealed how bad boys moved in silence during that move. Because we stick together. Period. So now, the administration was so baffled. And this is a part two. If you want the part two of this, I know this was long enough, so I'm not going to be at two hours because, you know what I mean, the trolls and rat bastards. He's just looking for anything to talk about. Now, the administration was so angry and so baffled and so vindictive, just like the rat bastards that they got coming at good men on YouTube for being straight up and stand up, that they opened up what they called a gang unit. That means that they put all the California MA on one range, the Texas MA on one range, the New York Bloods on one, but they didn't bring up New York and all. They put the, 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 the Bloods on one range and the Crips on one range and the TDs on one range, and they told them that now instead of you being in a step-down program to work your way out this unit, you have to denounce the gang in order to go through the program to get back to a regular USP. That's why I told you that I'm thinking about doing a video on them talking about Casanova that he might have told, dropped his flag. Stop it. It don't work that way. I'm telling you. And my word is bomb. That don't work. You know what I mean? That don't work. You know? They debrief you for months, sometimes years. And then the powers that be have to look at your debriefing and then decide, you know, if they're going to allow you to be one of them, to be protected. And if he would have did that, he wouldn't have been in Essex County around, around the real men still. They would have put him where they put those rat bastards that try and go up here and talk about brutal men like me. You know what I mean? So that's bogus. I'm telling you, I don't believe that about Casanova. If you want to hear more about it, put it in the comments. But no. Casanova, I don't believe he dropped his flag. That's just me from my experience from living with these devils for 25 years dealing with this movement of being a man on man time. So, to cap it up and sum it up, you know, they started a range that you had to be debriefed, drop your flag, they had to accept the information you give them before you could come out of that range and then begin a five-year step-down program. So if you want to know about what the five-year step-down program consists of, hit me up. Oh, you could go over there to one of the rat bastard channels and tell them what they read, you know what I mean? On YouTube or heard somebody else say. Well, if you want the facts about it, you know where I'm at. But it, they had to work out from a five-year step-down or a three-year step-down. Once they dropped the flag, and they had to be accepted as being truthful and honest. That's the same thing like the rat bastard sign called the 5K1. All of these rat bastards I saw on YouTube talking about, man, they all signing the 5K1. I never allowed my lawyer to talk to my prosecutor. I wanted no deal. I refused to have a deal. I refused to have a conversation. I refused to have a sit down. I refused to have a powwow. I refused to deal with the federal government while I was in that life. So you youngins, don't get in that life so you ain't got to go through what I went through to be away from your kids for 27 years. Like I said, I went and my daughter was 18 months. I come home. She's 27, going on 28. I'm a grown woman now. I lost all of that because I honored the code. But I made my oath to the code before I planted my seed within her mother to produce her. So I had to honor my prior obligations, which is never to forsake my comrades. And I despise the suckers that despise the, you know, 
their comrades. I ain't got nothing against you because I don't give you the energy, but when I'm speaking on, I got to speak the facts. I despise you, man. I despise all you rat bastards. Don't get involved in the game and you ain't got to worry about that. And I know y'all mad that I said it, but you know, who gives a crap? Who gives a crap about your feelings? Like my man Big C, uh, you know, Harry Hunt from the Supreme Team said to one of the homies that got mad because C pulled off a joke and got X amount of, you know, you know, heroin and came back and gave everybody what he felt like giving them. One of the homies that always ran with him felt like he should have got more and he sat there and he was pouting like he was in his feelings. And Big C, rest in peace. And Big C told the homie, dude, you in your feelings? I wipe my ass with your feelings. That's how much I care about your feelings. I wipe my ass with your feelings. Now that's gangster. You know, come on, man. I hit the gunshots too loud, drunk Blake, so I'm about to just tap out. I've been on here long enough. I got an hour in, man. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. I respect you. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, no disrespect to nobody. I just speak facts, and I know sometimes the facts and the truth hurt. You know? But it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, let, 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 let me just tap out real quick and let y'all know, man. God bless you. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Share this video and like this video. And again, subscribe. I. Cheers, cheers, cheers. The crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime. The crime, the crime, the crime. Hey. Shot the can of 26 yeah. He back on the strip uh -huh. Getting back in the mix yeah. What he mentions a gift Trust. You stand up ten toes down And I suggest you pay attention to this Real. Take a little gully posse and put it in home uh -huh. He cut from the bottom Back. Came up from the bottom Back. Drop the book, you should go and get it The Instagram page and the YouTube You could go and visit yeah. Then you could consider yourself linked in Real. Sit front row and get juice from a kingpin uh -huh. How he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it uh -huh. Did not pay attention would be stupid Talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on Probably the reason that him and your grams got along A man that generated millions on the block Did his time, never squilling to the cops Make an audio Get it live like two G's in the ninth. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. wine. Treat her like my past, she behind me. What? Spin a couple bands on the dapper dead. Oh. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. Clint. No cap, Clint. it's a roaring uptown. Yeah. Baby horn uptown, Dominican yeah. bust downs. Word. Now we on the positive. Word. You we got a lot to give. Yes. Now you trying yes. to stop the kids from being an operative. Uh. So take uh. heed, homie Linda Ed. Uh. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. Uh. Town, but now town. it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars It's nope. about buying property to make the community yard So we can give back to the youth them Cause they the truth them And bless up to all the rude men yeah.